Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about screenshots. In my opinion, easily one of the most underrated features of iOS. It allows to do a lot more on your iOS device and do things faster and easier. So in today's video, I will share with you guys some pretty cool shortcuts that I believe you must have on your iOS 18 device. Now, first of all, we're talking about a screenshot shortcut, which is pretty awesome. Now, it works with the new control center of iOS 18. You simply add it to your control center, and what you can do is run it from here and take a screenshot, which will then be copied to your clipboard. So if I run the screenshot shortcut from there, I can get out of the control center and take a screenshot here. Of course, if I don't want to use the buttons, I can do that now easily from the control center, take a screenshot right here as easy as that. And it's always saved in my clipboard so I can go ahead and easily share it from here. Combine screenshots and share is the next one for the video. It allows us to combine your latest screenshots and share them. So you run the shortcut and it shows you this pop up right here. So in this case, we have only the latest screenshot selected. But if we tap the plus button, that will be two screenshots. Then another another time, this plus button, three screenshots. And now we tap the dumb button. And now it has combined our latest three screenshots together. And I can go ahead and share it from here. Of course, I can save this as an image or share it on any of my apps. Extract PDF pages is the next one. Now, this one is super useful. It allows you to extract any page you want out of a PDF file. So all you have to do here is just run the shortcut and select the PDF file that you have saved on your files app. Now, once you have done that, you will see a pop up right here. So you will have to choose whether you just want to extract a few pages or most pages out of that PDF file. So let's go with a few pages and it will show you here the numbers. These are the numbers of the pages that are on that PDF file. I can go ahead and select these two and tap the dumb button. And now it shows me a pop up where I have two of those pages that we have now extracted. Of course, they will also be converted into another PDF file. And from here, we can go ahead and save that as a separate PDF file out of the big file from where we took these two pages. Now here we have another one. It is called PDF to image. It allows us to convert any PDF into an image, which then will be saved into the camera roll of your device. So run the shortcut and again, select the PDF file from your files app. And once you have done that, you wait here for a couple of seconds. And there we have the notification, the PDF converted to image, it has now converted it, and it has saved it under our camera roll. Next up is clean up screenshots, it allows us to clean up the screenshots that you have on your device. As you know, we usually take a ton of screenshots, and they will just pile up right there on the albums on our photo library. But this shortcut right here will filter all of your screenshots out of other photos and will show you a pop up here with just your screenshots. And then you can simply go ahead and select the ones you want to delete. So run the shortcut. And once you have selected the screenshots that you want to delete, you just tap the no pop up right there. And you can go ahead and delete all of them as easy as that. Charging notification is up next, you tap right there, and you can choose a percentage at which your device will give you a notification. So you're charging your iPhone and you want to get a notification. Once it's charged, let's say at 50%, you can do that, it will give you a notification. Or you can choose a percentage right there, and you can simply type here any percentage you want, tap on allow right there to allow the notifications. And when your iPhone will reach that level of charge, you will get a notification. Charge time is up next. Now, this one will show you how much time you will need to fully charge your iPhone from the percentage you're currently on. So we are at 51% right there. Tap on the, on the shortcut and right hit will show you at what percentage the battery is and how much time it will take for the battery to fully charge iDevice Pro is the next one. Now, this one is designed to be used with the action button. So as you probably know from the action button, you can run any shortcut you want. And now you can even do that from your lock screen or even from the control center. Now, what this shortcut offers is simply amazing. You tap right there and you get a list of a lot of things that you can do with this shortcut. 
from changing to the light mode or to the dark mode as easy as that to change the brightness the volume of your device you will have a ton of different things all right here you can translate text airdrop photos markup photos set a timer and you can see a ton of different things that you can actually do with this one shortcut and now you will have it at your finger here using of course the action button speed dial is up next now with speed dial you can set up a number you will have to set it up once you add this shortcut it will show you a field right there where you add the phone number or you can have the three dots right there it will show you the number there which of course you can change at any time you want now with speed dial you will be able to call that number quickly now you can add this to your control center maybe even to your lock screen or the action button once you run it all you have to do here is just tap yes and you will be able to quickly call that phone number search on is the next one for the video it allows you to search on some of the most popular websites on the internet so you tap on the shortcut and it shows you a field right there and you can just go ahead and type anything you want to search once you're done you tap the dumb button right then you will have a few different options from google to twitter or youtube or reddit bing anywhere you want to search for anything that you have added there all you have to do is just tap right here tap on allow and this will basically make the search for you as easy as that you can search on those places the next shortcut for the video is called turn text into audio it allows us to add any text whether you want to type the text or maybe you have a text that you want to paste right here you can actually do that and once you have pasted your text you just tap the dumb button and you will see what it does it creates an audio file here of the text that you have just pasted there it's simply amazing now once you're done with this of course you can play it right here then you can just tap the share button and you can go ahead and save this to your files or maybe even share it days until is the next shortcut for the video this one will show you how many days are left until any day that you pick so right here we have the calendar we can switch right there the month if we want to or we can just go ahead and go to any date right here any month any year we want you can see right here tap right there and it shows you the result the day that you have selected and how many days are left until that day and last but not least is convert images a simple way a fast way to convert images that you have saved on your camera roll you simply run the shortcut and pick the image you want to convert now once you have done that you will have here three different options you can choose to which format you want to convert and you're done as easy as that you have now converted that image and it's saved with the new file on your photos app so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and the shortcuts that we shared on this video if you want to download any of these shortcuts to your device make sure you check out the pinned comment all the links will be there again thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one